we cannot use tear gas against peaceful offenders. Can tear gas cause deaths? And does it burn your skin? And does it affect your respiratory system? And does it affect your eyes? Do you like to learn that? Yeah, we we'll learn what is tear gas. Actually, there are two types of tear gas. One is CS and other one is CS. So, other than these two types, CS and CN, there are so many types of tear gases have been used since 400 BC. So, those types of agents are called crowd controlling agents. So, that is the technical term for these types of agents. Actually, these are chemical, sometimes maybe natural materials like paper, those things, paper dust, right? So why do we call it tear gas? Because once it contaminates your eyes, more tear will come out. So you will see some redness on your eyes. So that's why we call it as tear gas. Although we call it tear gas, it's actually a kind of smoke where are solid particles in the air. Air is the continuous phase. Solid particles are the discrete phase. So actually, it is a kind of smoke then. Okay, during the World War I, the German and France army used two different types of crowd controlling agents. So one used chlorine gas, which is yellowish or greenish color, right? So then uh, other group, used mustard gas. So other than those two types, uh, some have used phosgene and later the CS and CN type gas uh, have been using since that time. Here you can see the dense cloud of this smoke. It is stored in a kind of canister. Once it opens, it emits its smoke and make a dense cloud. You will see a whitish cloud. So it dispersed densely around three meter in diameter globe. So you have to avoid this globe. If not, you will be seriously affected with this tear gas. It affects your lungs, especially eyes, mouth, your respiratory system and your skin. Other than the body parts, your clothes, your wristwatch and your earrings like or any item can be contaminated with these smog particles and it will badly affect your health. Actually in 2 to 15 seconds you will be contaminated by these smog particles and you will feel some irritations and discomfort. One example is these CS or CN type particles, which are chemicals, can be dissolved in the water which is available in your mucous membrane, right? Mucous membrane is a tissue level thing, right? So it contains water. This tear gas or these smoke particles can dissolve there and produce hydrochloric acid. Even in the laboratories, we use hydrochloric acid very safely because once it contaminate or once it poured onto your skin it will make some troublesome situation so then we have to avoid those but here it is in situ build in your tissues so then it causes some irritations then you will feel some burning and more tear will come uh, out like a uh, sense so there's a controversial argument in the science whether this tear gas particles can make cyanide at the tissue level. So, if we consider the long-term effects, you can see glaucoma, complete blindness, damages to respiratory system, and ultimately deaths. So, what are the five major concerns in the literature regarding the use of this tear gas? One is the possible toxicity to the protesters. And secondly, potential exposure to the person who administer this crowd controlling agent may be a policeman or army man. The potential for any ancillary exposure to healthcare officers and bystanders. Fourthly, the expansion of their use to the non-violent 
offenders or the peaceful offenders. So then we cannot use tear gas against peaceful offenders. Finally, the long term impacts. How to protect from this tear gas contamination? So once it contaminates, it is recommended to wash it thoroughly with thorough application of soap and also in a situation where tear gas is available and you are there, the first thing you have to do is you have to avoid that, that place. You have to avoid the dense smoke of tear gas. You can find a place where fresh air is available. So then, although you are contaminated and you will feel some shortness in your breath, so then you will be recovered in 15 to 20 minutes if you find fresh air. Other than those information, you can find some more information in the scientific literature and some other related websites. So thank you very much for watching our videos and subscribe Science Education Platform channel, like and comment.